The history of Google Search Google Search, the most popular internet search engine, was being developed in the late 90s, by two university students, Larry Page, and Sergey Brin, with the mission of creating the best search engine on the market, that was superior to the competition, which back then, was mostly made up of other dominant search engines, such as Yahoo and AltaVista, but after Google, none of the popular competitors stood a chance, and a lot of them either faded away completely, or were bought up by a big tech company, for instance, Yahoo signed a deal with Microsoft that made it so that Bing would power Yahoo search results, Bing still powers Yahoo search today, and very few independent search engines exist, and if they do, they suck terribly compared to the corporate search engines. So, where did Google's origins begin? In early 1997, Larry Page and Sergey Brin began developing the Google search engine, initially known as Backrub during its developmental phase, they began working on it in January 1997, and a year later, in 1998, Google was registered as an official domain, google.com, and the search engine has since become accessible to the general public. Initially, Google struggled to gain any significant momentum, but as time went by, it was inevitable that Google would eventually eat up all the competition, either because the competitors were struggling to compete with Google, or they did not feel like it was worthwhile continuing to invest time, effort, and resources into improving existing search engines, so many, including AltaVista, vanished out of existence completely, but others, such as Ask Jeeves, now Ask.com, switched to Google because they were sick and tired of using their inferior crawler that could not compete with Google in terms of search quality, and Yahoo was bought up by Microsoft in the 2010s, so the competition has been dying down for a long time, but in spite of this, many other search engines have been brought into existence. In 1998, Startpage hit the scene, offering the world's first truly private search engine with no user profiling telemetry, or tracking, in 2004, British independent Mojik was launched, as the first true alternative search engine to Google, as it does not rely on Google or Bing to index its queries, then in 2008, DuckDuckGo launched as another privacy-focused alternative search engine to Google search, in 2009, Ecosia was launched, with the intention of planting trees with ad revenue and searches, Microsoft rebranded their search engine as Bing in June 2009, it was previously under the name Windows Live Search or simply Windows Search, and prior to 2006, it was known as MSN Search, not to mention the existence of various crawlers, one of the oldest being Metager, having launched in 1996, but web crawler goes back to 1994, so the world's first crawler goes back a long way. Google initially offered something the world previously thought was unimaginable, a high-quality search engine that offers the best results, often giving you what you want satisfying your needs, wants, etc., but in recent times, this search engine has been fought with various problems, including SEO, search engine optimization, sponsored results, affiliate links, and advertisements flooding the top section of Google search have all dramatically decreased this search engine's quality, therefore, many are now seeking alternatives as a way to hopefully get better results than what Google has to offer, but Google has monopolized the search engine market making it practically impossible to compete with Google on any significant level. This also means that you're forced to rely on corporate search engines, if you want your search engine standing any chance of getting any popularity, and the truly independent search engines just cannot offer the quality search results that corporate ones have to offer, despite being riddled with ads and having numerous shortcomings, Google still remains the best and most used search engine across the world, but what exactly gave Google its strong dominance? Google launched in 1998 as a direct competitor to Yahoo, AltaVista, Ask Jeeves, and many other search engines, and it was the world's first search engine to offer better results than what the competition had to offer, Google would often get higher quality results and rankings compared to other search engines of the day, thus, it led many to believing that it was better, but initially, Google was not popular, many were still using Yahoo and the alternatives, even just a couple of years later in 2000, but after 2000, Google would soon see a huge explosion in popularity and would go on to be the most dominant and most widely used internet search engines of all time, still being the top player to this day. But with the rise of generative artificial intelligence, this could potentially threaten Google's market share, combined with increasing competition from rivals such as Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, etc., it could potentially mean that the once dominant search engine will lose its top spot. But that's not likely to happen for a very long time and only if the competitors can offer something better than Google, that would be the only reason people would stop using Google, so unless something like that ever happens, don't assume any other search engine will gain any significant momentum, 
but with this increasing competition, Google now has to find new ways to rake in the cash, and artificial intelligence seems to be the next money hog that will empty everyone's pockets, and Google may consider putting AI search results behind a paywall of some sort, essentially, you will have to pay to search the web with Google, if you want the best search results, and want to skim through ads and sponsored results, but a great alternative already offers that, all hail privacy-focused Kaji. Kaji offers a premium experience, with no ads, none whatsoever, no data collection, spying, etc. It is by far the best privacy-focused alternative to Google search, as there are literally no advertisements, or sponsored results, it's not biased towards any particular site, or in the case of politics, political content, so you are more likely going to find what you're looking for on Kaji, it fetches some of its results from Bing, but also chucks in its own algorithm, however, Kaji is a subscription-based search engine, however, they offer a great variety of plans, and you can try it out for free before you decide to settle in on it, with plans as cheap as $5 a month, Kaji really does have some get up and go in it that Google has been continuously losing over the years, Kaji even offers advanced search, for images, search results, videos, etc., so maybe Kaji is worth every penny, but you might not want to pay to search the web, as you may be opposed to it or you simply might not have the available finances to pay for such things, but if you want to ensure no data is being leaked or sold, and you want a true ad-free experience when searching the web, combined with advanced search, then Kaji is definitely worth it, and it offers a great ad-free alternative to Google and Bing. Google launched the Chrome browser in late 2008, further expanding upon the company's initial search engine, they also released numerous other products and services throughout the 2000s and 2010s, including the mobile operating system based on Linux, Android, Google's cloud storage solution, Google Drive, Google Meet, for video meetings and calls, as well as their own artificial intelligence chatbot, formerly Bard, now known as Google Gemini, which aims to be a direct and superior competitor to OpenAI's ChatGPT, and Microsoft's Copilot and Google is already in the very early stages of adding artificial intelligence to Google search, they are testing a feature known as follow-ups, which gives you a quick and simple summary of something, much like what Bing does with Microsoft Copilot, which also reduces the complexity of the topic, so if you want a quick answer and not have to dig through numerous sites and search results, then this feature may come in handy, although it has not officially been rolled out yet, and is only available in the United States as of right now, if I remember correctly. But what this shows is that Google is hungry for more money and market share, something they already well and truly have more than enough of. But if they want to stay competitive, and not lose out on money and market share, then Google needs to step up their game and get on top of fixing their search engine's terrible quality.